In question 12, we're told that Loma grows tomatoes in a garden, and we're given a table which has information about the weights of these tomatoes. And in part A, we're asked to work out an estimate for the total weight. Now, the way that we do that when we have a number of a frequency of something, but in a range, is essentially we're saying there's two which are of a weight between 0 and 10. So to work out the total weight, we can't multiply it by the 10, we can't multiply it by the 0. So what we do is we multiply it by the midpoint. So essentially what we're going to end up with is the midpoint of 0 and 10 is 5 multiplied by the 2 in that class. Add that to midpoint of 10 and 20 which is 15 multiplied by 8. Add that to midpoint of 20 and 30 which is 25 and the frequency of that group is 16. Um, add that to 20 and 30 is 35 times by 10 and then finally 45 times by 4 and that gives us 10 plus 120 plus 400 plus 350 plus 180 and that gives us a total weight of 1060 zero, zero grams. Now in the next part we're told that Loma also grows potatoes and the histogram below, yeah, the incomplete one, shows the, um, uh, shows the frequency density of those potatoes. Now we're told in part B therefore, so what I will I will continue I will actually move forward from this point and whenever I have to refer back to this slide you'll just have to I guess you have to imagine what I'm doing here. Um because if I flip back and forward between these two slides it, it affects the recording. In fact what I'll do is I'll stay here for now um and then I'll I'll come back um I'll go forward at a later point. But essentially what it's saying in so in part B it tells us that there's ten potatoes between 100 and 150 so essentially what it's saying is 100 and 150 there so it's saying that this that is all equivalent to 10 so if you think about the area of that it's 5 times 10 so essentially what we're therefore saying is that 5 times 10 which equals 50 that is actually equivalent to 10 potatoes. And what it's actually asking us in part B is how many potatoes had weights of less than 100 grams. So less than 100 grams is these. So that's 10 times 4. So essentially what we're saying is, is if 50 is equivalent to 10, how many would 40 be equivalent to? So 40 would be equivalent to 40 over 50 times 10. And that actually gives us an answer of 8. Now the reason I'm writing this all here and it's getting a little, little, bit, um, little bit messy is because I can't keep flicking back and forward in these slides unfortunately. You, you can re obviously read on to the question and then I'll come go forward when I just need to write the answer down. So essentially that's the answer to part B which is 8. Now we're told in part C that there's 12 potatoes which have a weight between 300 and 450 so it's essentially going to go to there and we know that there's going to be 12 there so again we have to use the same um, sort of ratios of information here so what we know that let's look at what we do know so we know that 10 is equivalent to 50 squares so therefore 12 will be equivalent to 12 over 10 times by 50 and that in fact gives us an answer of 60. So what that actually means is that the area has to be 60 squares. Now we know that we're going from 300 all the way to 450, so that's 15 squares. If we're going across 50, we need an area of 60 squares. Well, 15 times 4 is 60. That means it will go up like that, and it will go across like that. And because we've got 60 squares in there, we know that is representative of our are 12 um, potatoes. So now if we just keep those two things in mind, so we've done our little drawing, so that's fine, that's part C. And if it was getting a little bit
and if we just go forward now then again I'll just write the answer in here so this answer was 8 and for part C they just wanted to show the in information the histogram which we've already done